Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Erin Gifford and I love to teach people how to use uh, the Adobe Illustrator programs, Photoshop and Illustrator. So today is a Photoshop tutorial and I am going to show you how to change color. And we're going to do this two ways. First, we're going to do uh, work with an image like this where it's a big area of, you know, one solid color, which is kind of the beginning. Um, aspect of it and then we'll jump in the second part over to an image similar or we'll jump to this image which we are going to do selective color change so we'll probably like just select the blue out of this plaid pattern um, and change that so first let's get started with our more basic tutorial we're gonna um, change this lovely ladies t-shirt from light blue to whatever color we want and the first step that we want to start with is to get our quick selection tool so if you click and hold on the magic wand tool is probably what it's defaulted to click and hold you'll see the quick selection tool um, at the top and you can adjust your, make sure you're on the plus up here on your bar because we want to add to the selection and then adjust your brush size accordingly. I'm at 152 pixels and then we're going to just click on the t-shirt and drag. Really if you probably just clicked in the middle once it would probably select the whole thing but that's kind of a neat little trick all in itself. So now that we have our t-shirt selected, which is what we're going to change colors, we're going to go to our layers panel and down at the bottom you will see this little icon. It's like a circle that's cut in half, half dark, half light, and we're going to click and hold on that so our palette or our options come up here and we are going to hit hue saturation. So what that's going to do, if you look back at your layers palette, we're just creating a mask with that selection and um, it's, it's called an adjustment layer. So we just want to be able to adjust the hue and saturation for the selection that we made. So let's go back to the properties panel that popped up. And you can see in this panel we have the ability to change the hue, which is the color. Um, the saturation, which is the, um, oh, how do I explain saturation? Like the brightness um, of the color, and then the lightness and darkness, meaning um, a lighter hue or a darker hue. I'm not sure the best way to explain those. You'll see once you start sliding around. So let's start with hue, and let's just take a minute and slide through the selection here and as you can see the t-shirt changes it's still pretty light in color like it stays pastel but you can tell it changes from purple to pink um, and then to yellow at the end so let's go with um, let's see what we started with blue let's go green so we have the green hue, but now if we do saturation, we can adjust just how saturated green we want. So if we slide to the right, it gets more saturated. And as you can see in the, in the corner down there, the shadow, it kind of gets blown out a little bit. So we don't want to go that much saturation, but find a happy medium. And we're about three quarters of the way up. And then we can adjust the lightness and darkness. So we can make that green darker or we can make it lighter. It's totally up to you. So then we're going to click back to our layer panel. <coughs> Excuse me. And so since we have this masked out, it is always going to be editable, um, which is great because then if we want to come back and change that color later, we can. Um, or we can do another adjustment layer and adjust other aspects of the shirt. So um, there is one other way to do this. So let's turn off that layer, that, that adjustment layer that we just did and go back to the beginning. We're going to select our t-shirt again. We could also do this using a solid um, color adjustment. So we have our shirt selected. We're going to go back down to our adjustment layer and all the way at the top 
it says solid color. So let's do solid color. And obviously that looks weird. It kind of, you know, dropped out the shadows and stuff, but don't worry, we're going to fix that in a minute. And you know what? Let's go with red as long as it's popped up. We can hit OK. And now the trick to making the the darks and lights come through is to adjust your blend, which is right up here at the top of your layers panel. Um, right, it probably defaults to normal. So if you click on the little arrow and go down to hue, it will change it. So now we have this pink and you can also do saturation, I think. Yep. So play around with your different blend modes. And I'm going to go back to hue. And you can always come back and adjust this red color at any time. So play around and see what the different colors give you. So that's another way to change the color of a shirt. Um, okay, now we're going to start on the second half of the tutorial, which is this photo right here. So similar to the first one, <coughs> excuse me again, um, let's see, I'm going to get rid of this layer because I was playing around with it before. So we start with a one layer image and we want to adjust just this blue in her plaid. So to do that we are going to make um, an adjustment layer. No selection yet. Um, so let's do hue and saturation. And again all that does is make a separate layer with just our color edits that we're gonna do now. So we can always go back and edit it. Back to the properties panel. If you see right here under the word preset, there's a little finger with arrows. We are going to select that, and when you move your mouse over, you'll see that you have an eyedropper. So we are going to pick up with the eyedropper the color that we want to adjust, which is going to be this dark blue. And you can see down here in your slider, it's showing you that you're in this color range on your hue bar. And now, with that color selected, you can move these sliders around and it will adjust just the blue. It's leaving the red hues and the white hues all alone. It's not doing anything with them. We can make it darker. We can change it to brown. You get kind of a wide range of colors here up to the top. And you can see right next to the hand it says blues. It's adjusting the blues in the image. And so when we get this, you know what, let's do a second color thing and let's adjust, let's adjust the red to magentas. It's picking up magentas now. So we can also adjust those and we'll make them teal instead. So there we go. And as you can see, if you look at her jeans now, pretty much all the blue is out of her jeans, which is no big deal because I'm going to show you how to fix that. Um, we're going to go back to our layer. And now what we want to do is clip this adjustment to be just her shirt. So there's lots of ways that you can make a selection and just select her shirt, but because it's not really what this tutorial is about. I don't want to waste time doing that. So however you feel comfortable selecting her shirt, do that. And I'm just going to pull up my selection that I already made um, before I started recording, which is down here in my paths. And I'm going to just make it a selection and select my path, Oop, select my path, and then go down to the clipping mask. Um, oh, I gotta make sure that I'm on my hue saturation layer and I have my path one selected which you can see my outline here and hit the mask and now it has masked out just the shirt so if we toggle on and off our adjustment layer you can see the original and the adjustment and the original and the adjustment and you know her skin tones 
now don't change. The color of her jeans haven't changed. Um, just what we selected within the shirt is being adjusted. So thank you, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful um, in some of your upcoming projects. And stay tuned for more Illustrator and Photoshop tutorials. Thanks for watching.